With their many years of expertise and collaboration, Seagate and Synology are simplifying the workflows of those in the creative industry. NAS, standing for network attached storage devices, are increasingly popular with content creators and others working with large amounts of data, as formats and resolution options are growing fast. With NAS, you can centralize your storage, ensure continuous backup, and as more than one person can be working on the same project at the same time, you can ultimately improve productivity. Perfect if you're filming on location, as you can upload your content remotely and have peace of mind that your footage is safe and secure, and have the added bonus that someone can start working on the project immediately, despite you still being on location. NAS also allows you to combine the advantages of an SSD and an HDD, something which many assume can't be done, and which provides a perfect solution for both hot and cold storage. Hot data refers to your frequently used and critical files which you need fast local access to, whilst cold data doesn't require fast access. It's mostly made up of archive materials and infrequently accessed projects and documents. To demonstrate the benefits of a combination of SSD and hard drives, we've used Synology's latest 8-bay NAS, the DS1819+. Plus. This is particularly popular with content creators in need of scalable storage. So we've populated six of the eight bays with Seagate's Ironwolf 14 terabyte drives with one disk redundancy to protect against data loss. This is known as a RAID 5 configuration. As with any drive, you'll also notice that the actual capacity is always approximately 7-10% to less than stated in its naming. So for example, as you can see on this table, a one terabyte hard drive would give you approximately 931 gigabytes gigabytes of physical storage. With the two remaining bays, we've added two 480 gigabytes Ironwolf 110 SSDs. These are built for NAS and enterprise applications such as sustained performance over long read and write cycles, power loss data protection, super high endurance TBW rating and one data write per day known as DWPD, which means you can write and read the full capacity every day for five years. If that's not enough, you can register the drive for two years free rescue data recovery. These SSDs provide a smaller pool of fast storage which can be used for all current projects you're working on, so this is your hot data. This can then be archived to the larger, slower pool once completed, known as your cold data. Now, a common mistake by many is to assume that if there's an SSD inside, then this equates to fast transfer speeds, but in reality, you need to make sure that the entire connection from your computer all the way to the NAS is as fast as the SSD itself. On the DS1819 Plus, we've added a dual 10 gigabit network card to handle the SSD speeds on that end. At the other end, you need to make sure your computer has a 10 gigabit connection as well. Some, like the iMac Pro, have an inbuilt 10 gigabit Ethernet port, but if if not, don't worry, as any Thunderbolt USB-C connection on the laptop can be used with a 10 gigabit adapter. Here you can see the transfer speeds from our Synology NAS hot storage to our PC. We used a 10 gigabyte file and then tested five individual files totaling 5 gigabytes to show different speed capabilities. For reference, here are the speeds using a PC without a 10G network card. As you can see, the transfers are limited to the 1 gigabyte speed of the PC's built-in network capabilities. So you can see that using your SSDs in your NAS configuration will ultimately boost your productivity on the processing of current projects whilst keeping your cold data safely archived. Seagate and Synology include multiple options for backup and recovery at both the system level and drive level. Seagate's Ironwolf Health Management constantly monitors the drive's health, whether this is in the environment of the drive, such as vibration close to where it's placed, or its performance, such as heavy consistent usage spikes. Ultimately, providing the Synology system high-level reading, which will flag any potential issue before the failure of the HDD or SSD. The second risk is that of data decay, also known as bit rot. When storing files over large periods of time, small errors inevitably happen. These errors result in anything from blurring of the media content to the complete loss and inability to open the file at all. To combat bit rot, Synology gives the option of using an advanced file system called BTRFS, which runs background checks of file metadata and identifies any data decay. The system will then self-heal the data, or at least notify you to restore the corrupted data from a previous backup. For more information on Seagate and Synology NAS solutions, visit scan.co.uk and we'll pop the relevant links in the description.